Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 11. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class E Asian Tour. We're going to be taking Asian vehicles. Class E. We've got the Honda Fit. Uh, okay, so we can upgrade it. I'm going to upgrade it automatically to the top of E-Class. If it puts on an ugly rear wing, I'm going to be livid. Anyways, we start off with Twin Ring Mategi, Sakuba Circuit, and then Suzuka. <laughs> Probably. No promises. No promises? Oh my gosh! Yeah, no worries, Zeno. It's time for the Honda Fit to drive around Twin Ring Mategi. Powered by dreams. Don't forget, chat, if you are enjoying the stream, feel free to drop a like. And uh, if you're enjoying the videos, feel free to drop a like as well, as it really does help support the channel. We aren't too far away from uh, the start of Forza Motorsport 4 on the actual videos, which is going to be quite exciting. It's going to be super fun. What the holy shit was that? Gonna be great. And we're all gonna have fun. Oh, I'm so used to pressing the right thumbstick to change camera because I've been playing so much Formula One. I was gonna say Forza. Formula One. I've been playing so much F123. Ah, oh, it's a new season! Season 2 of F123. So excited. See, here's the issue, right? Season passes are amazing in games that you are willing to play. Like, I played 90 hours and I didn't even get up to the end of the season pass for the last game. Sorry, for the last season. So you think, for a game like Formula 1, it requires you to play for 100 hours to complete a season, in theory, right? That is not what it should be. Especially when you're paying extra money. No. A video game should not be like that. And I, I love Formula 1 23. I think F1 23 is such a fun game. But battle passes, passes in any video game, I, I hate limited time content. Anything that's exclusive for a certain amount of time. Like, I love the live service model if they added content to games and then added like a mission. For example, Forza Horizon 4 with the Cyberpunk mission. They added that. It stayed. It's still there to this day. Like, that's a live service sort of added mission, like a lot of these live service games do, but it's permanent. I don't mind that. I like that. I actually quite enjoy that I can come back to, say, especially with, like, Forza Horizon, and they've got all the new stories and whatnot. You've got all this content that you can go back to, and these stories, they stay. They're not going to disappear when I come back to the game in 10 years' time. They're permanent content to the game. However, these limited time stuff? No. Not fun at all. It just makes me less likely to play a game if I know, oh, well, unless I am obsessed with it. Like, I'm not playing F123 because of the fact that 
there is the season pass in it. I'm playing F123 because I like F123 and I think it's a really fun game. And I'm enjoying it. The Battle Pass, no video game in the world has made me want to play it because of a Battle Pass. And I think they could get rid of it. Or, right, and here, here's a wild idea that I would love for Battle Passes to do, right? Instead of making it limited time, make it so you buy six passes. In the lifetime of a video game, you can buy six passes, right? Even if it was a certain amount of time that you could buy it before it was unbuyable. Because I could then still buy them and then come back to them later. But for example, let's say it takes 100,000 XP from start to finish to complete a battle pass. Right? It's staggered up so that the earlier ones are less XP, the later tiers are more XP. But 100,000 XP is required to complete a battle pass. Right? Say you get to 50,000. The next season, you earn 50,000. Well, that will complete your first season's battle pass, but also get you halfway through your second season's, right? The battle pass will always be there. You buy it. You can finish it whenever you want. You can get all the content that's in it. Now, that is a huge amount more enjoyable in my mind. Even if it is limited time that you can buy it, at least once you've bought it, there's no limit on how long it takes for you to complete it. And I think that would be a huge amount more enjoyable. And companies would still get the same amount of bloody money. So, so far this test is actually working quite well. We're actually getting a decent, like, viewership rate. Oh. Kodo has messaged me saying he's out. Kodo, you better join the stream at some point. Mm. Whoa! I'm up the inside, I bumped into the Toyota. Are you proper cut me off there? Come on, we got this. Whoa! Little bit unstable there. Right round the outside. Alright, good start so far. Flowing through these corners. Cries are all in vain. Your cries are all in vain. Do 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 do.
<laughs> All right, looks good. Oh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything. I want to have to get some food. A rolling vein. Cries are all in vain. And that is it. Second race completed. Lovely jubbly, I will take that result. We're actually driving level 25 as well, so we're going to get ourselves a choice of a brand new vehicle. Level 25 already. We're looking at A-class cars now. With the 90s, 80s pinups. Um, I'm going to take the Lamborghini Countach, because why wouldn't you? And if we get a choice of colour, green. No! Okay, we'll take baby blue. I think baby blue is quite nice. So I'll take this one. More sneak! More sneak! This shit's good. I doubt blackout would ever become like a permanent flavor. But. Cherry. Taking you to a pizzeria. <gasps> oh my gosh, I get to go see pizza! Oh, lovely. Do they do, um, so it, where, uh, the, the, so where I'm from, Pizza Hut, do this thing where they do, like, buffets at lunchtime. Basically, you turn up to Pizza Hut, they cook a shit ton of pizza, they put them on a thingy, and you eat as much pizza as you can handle, basically, until you either throw up or you fall asleep. Or you have self-control and say, I've had enough. <laughs> but, um, no, do they have stuff like that? Because, on honestly, I love, I love going to Pizza Hut. Uh, maybe once a month. And just eating loads of pizza. It's quite good. You get unlimited salad as well, so you can get free salad. Which I actually quite like going to Pizza Hut for the salad. Because it's not bad. It's not bad. You get pasta. At a Pizza Hut. Yeah, I know. And ice cream. Unlimited ice cream. Which is like, whoa. It's so good. Never been to a pizza as a customer, I just went there as a delivery boy, so I have no idea. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, Pizza, pizza Hut's amazing. Such a good, such a good pizza they make there. Oh, I haven't had Domino's in ages. 100! Ha, 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 ha. 
Whoa! I can see all those reactions there. Let's see more, let's see more. <laughs> Two fingers. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was just like a So many reactions. I wish the reactions I could put on the overlay. So it was like permanently on the video. Because I know on mobile it adds it to the video, but on desktop it adds it to the chat. It'd be nice to have it on the actual thingy. I don't know. It's quite cool. I, I, honestly, there's so many things about YouTube live streaming that I just prefer to Twitch. Twitch has gone downhill, and there's a, there's a lot of things that they could have done to change to make a lot of creators stay. But creators just are done with Twitch. And obviously it doesn't help that Kick, another platform, basically cropped up out of nowhere to pick up the pieces that Twitch left scattered around. Alright, not bad. I'll take my rewards. And what bonus do we get? 3,500 XP bonus. Very nice. I'll take it. All performance parts from Honda are 75%. Honestly, the amount of money that you get off in this game is unreal. For leveling up cars. It's crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.